Soul. Eight, seven, Caldera. six, and five, Silent Spring is, four, is running a three, drum configuration two, again here too. One. Interesting. Fight, robots, fight. Oh, wow. Now, I, I think we're going to see a pretty different driving style from Silent Spring just because obviously Jameson is driving his own robot here. Jameson really wants Silent Spring to go deep in the brackets today. Oh! Ooh. Big, nasty. Oh. Silent Spring staying planted to the floor. Yeah, a drum versus a horizontal really favors the drum. You see an over-the-shoulder shot here of Glenn driving the orange robot, Caldera, and trying to come up with a solution here for Jameson Go. Oh, he successfully hit Jameson Go onto his head. Can Jameson gyro back? It's got to be a lot harder with that extra weight on the bot to gyro back into position. Yeah, good point, Kyle. I didn't really think about that. You know, an extra pound when you're talking about three-pound robots is just a ton of weight. Now, uh, Silent Spring is, of course, invertible. Oh, it's back on its feet. Here we go. Back Ooh. on its feet, quite literally, you guys, because uh, this Cause is a walking robot. It's running on eight feet. That's right. Now, it looks like the weapon on Silent Spring might be down. It yeah. also looks like the uh, the horizontal spinner on Caldera is a little askew. Oh, yeah, no. Yeah, that is true. It definitely hit a portion of that drum that it did not want to, and it is completely off kilter now. It would be dangerous to spin that thing up. You could... Oh! oh a little puff little of, of smoke, smoke probably from a motor. Yeah, that, that you want to keep that smoke inside the robot. Whenever the smoke starts coming out, that's when things stop working. Now, Jameson has shoved Glenn into the corner. It looks like the left side drive is just spinning there. Oh, and we and just there we tap go. Out. Tap, tap out from out. Caldera. The winner of that match was Silent Spring. How often do you see a shuffler win by control?